hi besties in today's video i'll show you how to make this beautiful short with elastic waist okay you can see how beautiful this look and you will be able to recreate yours too after watching this video so guys let's dive right into the video first thing is to go ahead and fold your fabric into two so i'm just folding my fabric into two using my hip measurement with additional three to four inches okay so you're going to use your waist measure i mean your hip measurement divided by four plus like four inches extra okay for ease and other measurements so once you've done that and your fabric is folded in two the first thing you want to do is to mark uh, a waistline okay that's going to guide your other measurements so i went ahead and i marked this straight line on the waist from that point i'm going to mark two inches downwards just like this and i'm going to connect that with a straight ruler so these two inches we just marked is going to be the elastic band casing okay it's what we are going to fold to insert the elastic band all right so from that point i'm going to um like i was explaining this is the elastic band so all our measurements is going to start from the second line that point where my measuring tape is so from there i marked my hip line which is nine inches okay and i just drew that into a straight line all right so on that hip line i'm going to mark my hip measurement divided by four all right so you're going to do the same thing for yours and on that point where i marked the second line i also marked my hip measurement divided by four and i marked it on the first line as well so next i'll just use my straight ruler to connect the three lines together so from that um hip line i marked two inches downwards just to get my crotch line okay so if you don't know how to measure your crotch line you just go ahead and do this exact same thing i just did two inches from your hip line okay so now i'm going to mark the full length of the pants so this totally depends on you if you want the shot to be on your knee or shorter just measure exact place you want it so after measuring mine i connected into a straight line so now we have the full length of our shot so i'm going to connect from the hip line down to the crotch line so that hip measurement i marked on the hip line i just connected it down to the crotch line and from that line i extended that point by two inches and on the point where the hip line and the crotch line meet i marked 1.5 inches upward and i'm just going to connect that with my curve ruler like this okay so if you don't have your curve ruler you can see just use your free hand just the way i'm doing it here to just connect so now we've connected our crotch line okay so i'm just going ahead to make sure you see what i'm doing that's why i'm marking it over and over again so on the crotch line i mean on the length of your pants I'm, i marked the time measurement divided by two okay and i connected that point down to the crotch line so you're going to do the same for yours as well your time measurement divided uh, by two and that's what you mark on the full length of the pants after that is done i'm just adding one inch to the hemline for hemming allowance okay because if we don't add this by the time we hem our pants it will not be the same length that we want it to be so i just added one inch for hem allowance and guys that's just it on how to draft out, draft out the front pattern and i'm just going ahead to cut this out so notice how i cut from the first line okay and i'm just going to cut through the crotch and down to that point and i folded it inwards and then i cut just so i will not be short of fabric on the hem part okay so this is how it's going to be when the elastic band casing is folded inwards so i will just separate it so we have the two panels for the front and guys we are going to use this to cut out the back so what you want to do is to go ahead and fold uh, in new fabric just like this one into two and then place the front on it like so okay so this is what i have for mine now we are going to modify the front panel just so we can get 
uh, the back panel. So on the crotch line, I extended my measurement by two inches and on the waist area, I extended by one inch, okay? So I'm just going to mark that one inch all around that crotch, the crotch area, okay? One inch and I'm just connecting it and I'm going to curve it to meet the two inches already marked earlier from the crotch line. All right. So from the tie side, we're going to extend by two inches, just the same way we did from the crotch. And we're going to connect that down to the hemline of the pants. So basically, that's all you need to do for the back. If you are a very curvy person, you can go ahead and add around one inch on the upper part of your pants, just so your butt will have uh, room for extra balance, all right? So I just cut out my pattern and <clears throat> that is it, guys. We have both the front and the back panel of our shorts. So the next thing we're going to do is to start stitching, right? So I'm going to place the front and the, the back side. I'm going to place the two patterns, right sides facing each other. Then I'll take to the sewing machine and stitch on the crotch line. I'll do the same for the back panel as well. And then I'll come back and show you. So once that is done, guys, this is what I have. You can see this, the crotch line has been stitched, okay? So you can see the two panels have been stitched together, starting from the waist down to the crotch, okay? So now I'm placing the two panels together, and I'm going to make sure they both align on the full length and on the crotch side. Okay, once I've achieved that, I will just take it to the sewing machine and just stitch on it like so and stitch on the other side as well all right so once that is done this is what i have and the next thing we want to do is to stitch the side of the pant so i'm just going to flip it to the wrong side just like this and i'm going to stitch on the side with about half an inch seam allowance so i'll stitch on the both sides right and once that is done i'll come back and show you what it looks like so guys, this is what I have after stitching, uh, closing the side seams. And another thing I went ahead to do is to iron these pants very well, okay? And the seam allowance I have on the pants, on the hem side, I folded it inward and ironed. So you can see I folded it inward. Once you do this, you take it to the sewing machine, it becomes so, so easy for you to hem. So I just did that and I did it for the waistband area as well. Just folded it inward and iron. I'm just going to turn this to the wrong side just so you see exactly what I'm talking about, okay? So I'm just turning it to the wrong side to show you how I folded the hem allowance inwards so that it will be easy for me to stitch on, okay? So this is what I did. You can see it has not been stitched on, but I just folded it inward. So on the waistline, I'm just going to fold it a little bit and just stitch all around the waistline. And I'm going to leave about one inch opening to turn the elastic, to insert the elastic band into the waistline of our pants. And then I'm also going to do that for the lower part. I'm going to just hem the lower part of the pant so we are going to be using this elastic for the waist of our shorts i keep saying pants i don't know if they are the same but shorts actually so i'm just going to use this um elastic band to go all around the waistline of the shorts okay so i'm going to measure the exact amount of elastic band i need my waist is 27 inches and I just cut out 23 inches, about 23 to 24 inches, okay? I removed like three inches from my waist measurement to get uh, the quantity of elastic band I need, okay? So that is what you should do for yours as well. And next, I just put my elastic band in a safety pin and I'm going to pass it through the waistline of our shirt. 
if you've been following my tutorial you should know how to do this already because i have done a lot of tutorials showing you how to pass elastic band through uh, the waistline or sleeve or anything you want to do uh, but for sake of for the sake of those that are watching my tutorial for the first time i'm just going to go over this so i just pinned the elastic band on the entrance just so it doesn't get lost inside my shirt okay so i'm just going to keep passing it through until it comes out on the other side of the space i left for the elastic band basically and i just take this to the sewing machine first i pin it down then take it to the sewing machine stitch the elastic band together and then i'm going to close the opening i have left for the elastic band to go through okay and once that is done i'll just come back here and show you um the finished look of this pants so guys if you've enjoyed this tutorial so far kindly give it a huge thumbs up okay and share with your friends and in case you are not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe so guys this is the finished look of the pants it looks so good so beautiful and so comfy all right guys thank you so much for watching please recreate this okay and share with your friends until i see you again in my next video bye for now okay bye <laughs>